Hi and welcome to the channel, it's Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. Uh, this is a quick video that I'm placing up for the modules for CloudBot. Uh, I've done a series of videos about the CloudBot modules from uh, Streamlabs Online. Uh, and I basically go through each of the modules one by one to, to show you how to set them up and how they can be best used and how to customize them. Uh, and also how you can improve your interaction on your viewership and chat and also between yourself and the viewers as well. This particular video is going to be about the emote combo module within CloudBot on Streamlabs Online. I'll show you how to set it up, how to customize it, uh, and I'll test it as well on uh, in this video. So you can see exactly how it works. So you can make a decision whether or not you want to have it onto your stream or not. Streamlabs Online does work for uh, Facebook gaming, for YouTube gaming, for Twitch, for other streaming platforms those three being the main ones. And you don't have to use Streamlabs OBS, the software, the streaming software that is, uh, to enable uh, CloudBot and the other modules. However, they do integrate very, very well with Streamlabs OBS. So I've activated a load of these modules on my channel. They've worked really, really well, massively improved the interaction on my channel. So I thought I'd put out some tutorials about these and the, the tutorials I've put out there so far have been really, really successful. So if you find this video useful, please give it a little thumbs up. It helps other people to find the video. And also if you want to see more stream tips, tutorials, help, guidance, that kind of thing, please feel free to give me a little subscribe below as well. I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Jane. If you want to see these in action on my stream, uh, feel free to follow as well. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, to enable the CloudBot module, uh, specifically the Emote Combo module, you're going to need to visit streamlabs.com uh, and set up an, an account with Streamlabs Online. Uh, to do that, you can use your Twitch credentials. It's really, really easy to do. You can log in with your Twitch credentials and it will pull in all the information from your Twitch and it integrates uh, right off the bat. Uh, what you need to do here is navigate to CloudBot along the side menu here, or you can search for CloudBot in this search bar anywhere, uh, which this is located on most of the pages. When you get to that, you'll search for the module section within the CloudBot function. Now, CloudBot has loads of different things you can do. Loyalty points, queues, quotes, timers, commands, giveaways, user management, all kinds of different things you can do. It's basically the uh, chat bot from Streamlabs, which is cloud hosted and integrates with your software and with your streaming platform like Twitch, YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, that sort of thing. So we navigate to, uh, to this. First of all, you need to enable CloudBot with this little toggle here. Go into your chat and type forward slash mod space Streamlabs. It'll mod Streamlabs onto your stream. Uh, once you've done that in modules here, we're going down to emote combo. We look, click on preferences. You can toggle this particular module on or off by using this toggle button here. We'll go into preferences. It took me a little while to figure out exactly what this this guy, this this did, this module, uh, but eventually I got there with it. Um, I, I'm not personally gonna really use it on my stream. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but then that's probably because I've not really been able to think of ways to make it more interesting for my viewers. And you guys may be able to think of much better ways than me. And if you do, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. So, but yeah, to, to do these, you've got general set settings and message settings. Uh, within the preferences here, you've got a cooldown, a global cooldown on the emote combo. So that is a value in seconds here. So if other people are doing uh, emote combos in your chat, you might want there to be a global cooldown and that doesn't trigger for another given amount of time. For instance, five minutes or something like that. Five minutes would be obviously 300 uh, seconds. Then you have a threshold count as well. So this is the minimum combo count to trigger the message. Now, I, I wasn't sure what this was at first, but what this actually is, the threshold count is the number of individual messages from the same user or a number of users for the same emote being used. So for instance, if I post PogChamps in one message and then immediately PogChamps straight after in another message and then immediately PogChamps in another message, that's three individual messages with the same emote that combination has not been broken at that point. The emote combination for PogChamps has not been broken for three messages. And that there would mean that this would trigger the message because I've set it to three messages. So the minimum combo trigger the message. And I'll show this in action in a little while. And then you've got the messages themselves. So if somebody does th three messages or a combination of people do three messages in chat of the same emote, then what it'll do is it'll, it'll say the amount of messages that have, have triggered that emote. For instance, in that last example, it would be three messages. Bear in mind, this doesn't count the individual number of emotes used. This counts the number of messages containing only that emote. 
uh, and then it specifies the emote that is justified for the combo again this will become clear in a second i can customize this just by changing the, the value so i might want it to be like four for, for this message to be triggered and then add some extra check text in there if i want to including adding the usernames of the people as a variable to inc be included within that message you can you can add new messages here again you could just copy the format Control c or right click and copy here and then add message and then paste that in and then edit a new one if you wanted for instance if you wanted like a hundred emote combo if someone somehow does like a hundred of the same emotes in your chat you might want to give them some sort of weird giveaway or something like that like the persistence giveaway or something like that i don't know like an easter egg who knows i'm sure you come up with some great ideas so that's that um these are the default ones here, 3, 5, 10, 15, and 20. And at, at 20, it then says that, the, that a specific person has ruined the combo above that threshold. So it actually says who breaks the combo. So let me just put this into perspective. So once I've done those there, I'm just going to go to back, uh, make sure it's toggled on, make sure Cloudbot's toggled on, make sure I've modded Streamlabs and that I've got the account in the first place. I'm now going to go to my chat. Now, let me just let me just say PogChamps, just for an example. If I do uh, one PogChamp, and then I break the one PogChamp with something else, it doesn't have to be an emote, it could just be a text, a test, um, then that's not going to work. I think it, because it's text, it doesn't break the emote combo. So if I then use PogChamps again, it still works. We're still in a combo of two messages. And even if I then do a load more PogChamps, like I've done probably 15 more. We're still in the combo, right? Now, I just need to test here whether it's a combo of two or if it's a combo of three because the word test is in there. And I don't think that breaks the emote combo because there have been no other different emotes within the uh, the combination there. But the thing to bear in mind here is that we're looking at the number of messages. We're not looking at the number of actual PogChamps emotes in there. So although we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 PogChamps, it will say that there's three because there are three messages from three users. In this case, it's only me that's the user, but it would work across multiple users. So if I now break that combo with a different emote, let's just say, I don't know, lull emote there right so the test here is pretty clear because the pog chance did a message and then it was broken with text and then two messages and the minimum threshold that i set up here in the emotes combo is three messages that has not allowed it to happen so the test text did break the combo and and this has now broken the combo as well so we don't have the three so that's a, a breakage of the combo because it's a different emote now let's just try that again with PogChamps. We'll just do one and then like a five and then a, a, a three, right? So we've then got, we've got nine PogChamps in there, but we've got three messages in a row, which I'm now going to break with a lull. Then what happens is my bot comes back because we've hit the minimum messages threshold to say, yes, you've hit the emote combo threshold for the three. It presents the message for the three count combo which is this message here so it's the amount of, of messages then the emotes uh, that, that, that it refers to in this case it's the pog chomps emote and then just some free text so we've got three times emote combo so let's just text test this with a few examples uh, it, again it doesn't matter what the actual emote is let's do a not like this emote let's do like four of them uh, another four another four uh, one one so we now know we've got here 12 emotes plus 13 14 so we've got 14 emotes in total but what we've got here is a combo of five messages in a row so hopefully what we'll do here is trigger this message here with the uh in your in your face whatever that is i'm going to break that combo with just any emote the love heart it's broken the combo, so it then says that there was a not like this combo of times five, and then you get the in your face message that has now been triggered. Let's just trigger one last one. We'll trigger the... Um, I'll use some custom emotes for this one. This is my girth emote. Don't ask. It's just a stupid thing I have on my channel. I'll just spam this 20 times to get the 20 emote, and it'll show the ruined uh, variable with the username in there as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I'm actually going to do a few more than 20 just to prove the point. 22, 23, 24, right. So I think we've got about 23 or 24 girth emote messages in a row. We're not referring to the number of emotes. We're just purely referring to the number of messages only containing that emote. So unbroken emote combinations, essentially. I'm just going to now break that emote with something. Let's put uh, my friend Jam Jar. We'll put his Jam uh, emote in there. We get a message back from the CloudBot module for emote combo saying Machine Dana ruined the 24 girth emote combo. Okay, so it's just a really simple, straightforward, customizable function that you can do. It's just something that's a little bit different that your viewers can interact with, that you've got the option to weigh there if you want. You can use these in a number of different ways and some of them could then interact with other things like giveaways, for example, or prize draws or something like that. So there you have it. That is how you can set up the cloud bot emote combo module on your stream. Um, it works with Twitch, Facebook gaming. It works with YouTube gaming. It doesn't matter whether you're using it on Streamlabs OBS, but it does work very well on Streamlabs OBS software itself. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and have a wonderful day. Take care.